glad you're here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, home of the Reds since 2003. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway, showing the slab in today's game, Andrew Abbott. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. All right, ready to get underway. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. Here comes a pitch. There's the strike of the knees, and we're underway. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Here's the 0-2. That one just misses. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Just off the outside edge. Two and two. It's a good take. see another there's a swing and a drive pulls it in on the warning track and time now for the Phillies lineup and Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Here's Trey Turner. Way high. Abbott, a six-foot lefty, 24 years old, and he was a second-round pick in 2021. One out, base is empty. Edge of the zone for a strike. And the count one and one. And that's in the dirt. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger and up to the plate is JT Real Muto first pitch misses one ball no strike Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul straight back.
Swing it a foul straight back. And another ball. That one ripped right center field. Way back there. And that one's gone. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 1-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Two outs, nobody on. And now it's Alec Bohm. On the corner for a strike, going one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two out spaces empty. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there if you're smart. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 1-0. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Christopher Sanchez. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. You know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches at all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Stuart Fairchild in the box here lets that one go for a ball. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That's in there. Got the count even at one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough to pick up the middle for a knock. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. Now snap throw to first. Fairchild back in on a dive. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. On the ground to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. Pache whips it in quickly, and two on now as they try to rally here. A couple of singles back to back. That Just found cool. a way to slap that ball okay. down the third baseline. That's oh, oh, really oh. excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, no outs. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Fairchild, the lead runner out at second. Steer at first with no outs. Just oh, off the, the inside edge. The 
one one this to third Sosa over to Merrifield plenty of time at first that's a double play as a former player watching five four three double plays brings back some adrenaline it's such an exciting play and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport now batting Jamer Candelario the switch hitter batting right and that one fouled off so after the double play he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. Two outs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. On the ground right side. In plenty of time to first third out so no runs two hits no errors and a runner left we move to the second here in Cincinnati it's the Phillies one and the Reds nothing and welcome back to the ballpark here's the veteran outfielder Nick Castellanos and a pitch that misses ball one wouldn't chase that time. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. That one misses. And now 3 0. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That is it. The second base hit. With Merrifield up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missed. This is the zone. Now two and two. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Christian Ponche. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Indians. Runner takes off and a foul ball. Man at first, one away. Runner on the go again. Swing and a miss. One and ten. Throw to second oh, he's and he's safe. Trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You no, know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And here is Sosa to the plate. One and out. This one in the dirt, and the runner holds.
Man on second, two down. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One ball, one strike. That's a strike across the top of the zone. That's down and in. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the second. And now it's filled up. Johan Rojas waiting for a turn at the plate. Man at second. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it across, and that is that. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here in Cincinnati, and now Christian Encarnacion Strand. The pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Go ball. One strike. Here comes the 0-1. And it delivers outside. in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. On the ground to the left. Zips it across. They go 5-3 for that the first out good. as the third That's baseman good. makes the play yeah, from the shortstop spot in the shoe. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Just missed. So here's a fun note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. The pitch. Oh, and a good eye oh. there. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Now when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And Great that's ball. outside. Great. Counts full, three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. Nick Martini will hit next. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, dude. There's a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Step off throw to first. De La Cruz back on a dive. And the pitch rolled softly, but that goes foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And he will two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Santiago Espino digs in now. Step off, throw to first. And he's back in on a dive. That misses off the outside edge.
Two outs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. De La Cruz. Round second on his way to third. Coming home. He will score and the Reds tied up. It's 1-1. Starting over again, all tied up. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Will Benson now at the plate. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Top half of the third inning, and now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now that designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber Kyle. comes up to hit here. Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slug is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And a pitch. That one fouled off. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Spot. A really good take, especially with two strikes. And another ball. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. And now the lefty. And he walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Turner now. Struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. is outside. What an out. At the belt and fires. There's the strike. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. Relay throw. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. It's two to one. Now, just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. JT Real Muto steps in. He's already homered here in this one. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball one.
Turner leads off second with one gone in the inning. Pickoff throw, no, and Turner's there. back in. Down the line. Benson sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Now And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well I think it's the ability to assess the situation understanding what the pitcher has what he's trying to get people out on and then being able to use the entire field. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Oh. And that's outside. Going to count one and two. Two outs. They had one in scoring position. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Good job of damage control right there. Phillies with the run scoring double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the center fielder, Stuart Fairchild. And he deals. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Looking to get the tying run on base. And there's a hit. feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. But everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now a chance for Spencer Steer. And yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. the pitch this one chopped on the ground but foul I love this part of the game does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher I know he's fast but it's pretty risky the pitch foul ball still 0 and 2 with the go ahead run at the plate here in the last half of the third that just misses one and two to count. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had a good And now, Tyler Stevenson. He's over one. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout.
Back here at Great American Ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Nick Castellanos. Abbott back to work. Close, but call the ball. One and oh. Well, these Phillies doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And now two and nothing. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Rolls across the diamond. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The batter. Second base. With Merrifield. And digging in for Philadelphia, Whit Merrifield struck out swinging his first time. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. A one down. Strike on the inside corner. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. Pache in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. But at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Phillies go down quietly in the inning as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jamer Candelario. The line to the pitch. That's in there. And fouled off. Way inside. Bounce it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. comes a pitch right back to him on the mound tosses to first leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. that's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game it might not be the most challenging we've seen today but it needed to be made that's helping your team Encarnacion Strand can't hold up and that's a strike One down, base is empty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. The 0-2. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball. Holding on to a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. 
Now battle. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Two down, nobody on. In the dirt, and the count is even, two and two. Tying run on base. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Digging in, Nick Martini. And that one missing low. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send it. Two outs. To the right side, Merrifield. In plenty of time to first, and that will end the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. They're down two to one. We go to the top of the fifth, and now for the Phillies, Edmundo Sosa. As the lefty gets to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Nick Martinez appears to be getting loose. Sims also getting ready. The pitch. Close one, doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And here it comes. And a foul ball. A little bit high, and that's ball three. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Line drive, lead city's got it. Time to perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys in the corners because. You know, especially when it's a you know, right-handed hitter from third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And if it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, third base side. Ball to strike. The pitch. It's softly on the ground to third. And he grabs it. Foul. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Foul and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Man, that looked like a pretty good swing. And I was waiting for it to get hammered somewhere. You know, breaking ball. And he just somehow missed it. Timing mean, looked solid. And his balance was there. He wasn't out on the front foot. Great pitch to hit. But... Just came up with nothing but air. So, tell you what, that's not a good feeling one at all. Ball. Schwarber, the next to hit, takes ball one. 
close but call the ball ball two. Two down, nobody on. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Foul ball there. Two, two down. Swing and a pop up. He's got it, and that is out number three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Reds one. Back here in Cincinnati. Now here is Santiago Espinal. The line of the pitch. Splits the plate, and that's strike one. Up the middle, Turner. On to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Will Benson. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. A one run lead, and the home team trying to pull it out. Fly ball down the line. Pache ranging after it. Squeezes it, and there's two down. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge spot. Now, that wall, it can very easily draw the ball loose when you bang into it, so that could have been a really different outcome. Fairchild in the box now, takes strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is going to treat to watch. Oh. oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Trying to close out a one run lead. Last half of inning number five. No. Just missed. Well, he's been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Close oh. one doesn't get the call. Three and one now. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Kind of a strange win. Only three hits, so they definitely weren't firing on all cylinders there. Great pitching. Really kept them in it and gave them a chance. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Our, Our final, final line score tonight, tonight. First, first for the victorious the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies, Phillies. Two, two runs, runs on three on hits, hits. No, no errors, errors. they let two, two runners, runners on base. base. For the Reds, Reds. one run, five, five hits, hits. No, no errors, errors. They, they let four runners, runners on base. base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 36 minutes. minutes.